Hello students, welcome to Sorosa classes. For detailed information about our classes, you can visit our website that is www.sorosaclasses.com and if you want to study materials and for videos of our courses, then you can just call us or WhatsApp us at this number 9836-793076. You can even like our videos and subscribe our channel for further more videos. Today our topic is objective commerce and here is our first question. The question is the most rigorous test of liquidity is and here four options are given. Option A that is current ratio, option B is acid ratio test, option C is absolute measure and option D and the last one is stock turnover ratio so now let's start now absolute measure ratio absolute measure okay let me raise this measure ratio is equals to absolute cash absolute cash or current liabilities now Absolute cash is equals to now absolute cash is equals to cash plus bank plus marketable securities. marketable securities so here option C that is absolute measure is the correct answer so the most rigorous taste of liquidity is of liquidity is absolute measure and this is our answer now the next question is Agarwal brothers provide following data here some information are given that is total sales which is given as 2 lakh 20 thousand it is given SR is equals to 20 thousand now gross profit is also given that is 50 thousand uh, closing stock is given which is 60,000. Now, excess of closing stock over opening stock is equals to 20,000. So, the value of excess of closing stock over the opening stock is 20,000. Now, we have to find what is the stock turnover ratio. So, we have to find this stock turnover ratio. Now, here four options are given. Now, let's start. We know that stock turnover ratio is equals to stock turnover ratio is equals to cost of goods sold cost of goods sold divided by average stock now we have to find this two okay now let me change the color so at first 
cost of goods sold cost of goods sold is equals to net sales minus gross profit is equals to 2 lakh minus 50000 is equals to 1 lakh 50000 rupees and average stock is opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2 from this we can write is equals to rupees 40,000 plus rupees 60,000 by 2 is equals to 50,000 rupees 50,000 so the average stock is here 50,000 and the cost of goods sold is 1 lakh 50,000 so the stock turnover ratio is the stock turnover ratio is equals to 1 lakh rupees 1 lakh 50,000 divided by rupees 50,000 equals to 3 so the stock turnover ratio is three so option C is the correct answer which is three times